What up kings, queens, prince and princesses. Welcome to another day of vlogging. What up guys, starting the day off late. Get this trash can. I'll put that in when I go back, get back, but I'm heading to the mailbox because my phone case came in. It's been, I think, two days of me without a phone case, and I need that, so I'm about to go pick it up. Then I got a few packages I'm gonna open up, let y'all see what we got. Just made it to the mailboxes, and I'm like, this is crazy. My parents, they don't even know their mailbox number. They just know where it's at, so I gotta call my mom on video when I get here, just so I can find the mailbox. Let me see, go back. Hold on, I'm trying to switch it. Go to the right. This way? Yeah, I think we got third one from the end. This third. One, two, three. No, okay, turn it around in front. Let me see. Yeah. How you don't know? Well, I'm the same. Well, I always had to ask my wife which one was ours at the, um, what's the name? They don't even check their mail. All this mail. Let me put all this camera down so I can carry all this. Made it back. Here go the packages right here. There go the packages, but. Oh, and I brought the camera out the vlog, but I left the memory card here. We went to Sam's Club. We got us some snacks and stuff and chill. This eye closet pantry thing. And then in here too. We ain't got no room to put this. So we'll have to find a place for that. So here go my wife right here. What's up, y'all? Do y'all no not today, because I went I went to sleep at like nine o'clock last night. I went, then I go to sleep early. And I slept through the night. Ain't nobody bothering me about the time. <laughs> ain't nobody <laughs> did nothing. Hey. Hey, you guys. What you doing? I'm playing with the Legos. You, do, you mm -hmm. are? Mm hmm Those Zoe Legos? Mm-hmm. Did Zoe say you can play with them? Mm-hmm. She said that. Why are you not playing with her? Because she went to the store. Oh, is she gone? Yeah, they went to the store. Oh. I just wrote, gave my mama the key, but I thought it was just her in the car. But, um... I'm about to open up these packages. Y'all can check them out with us. The very first package, I got a um, screen protector. And I think I already have one on the phone. They come with them? I think so. I thought this was, because it was a thing that I pulled off of here. I thought that was just the marks around it, but it feel like it's something right there. Come with it. That's a screen protector. Yeah. Yeah, so it come with a screen protector. So I have three extra ones. So that's why I ordered this. I think these was $7.99. So I got those. And then this is oh no, this is the screen protector. This is the temper glass. I'm thinking should I still put this on now? This kind of feel like it's glass, but I'm not sure. I just ride this one out and then when this one get messed up, uh broken or something then i switch it to these these the screen protectors the temper glass these were 7.99 and then this is my phone case so it's the same exact brand that i had for my iphone so i know that was a good brand because it kept my phone case i mean phone safe and it was thin that i like thin cases so it fit perfect. It feels the exact same too. I like this phone. It's not too big. I would have liked for it to have been a little bigger, but it's all right. Zero dollars down payment. So that's why I like this one. So it feels much better. So I got a, finally got a case for my phone. And that one is by Spigen. 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. They got some pretty good cases. They cheap too. I think this this could have been 
$14.99, I think. Either $11.99 or $14.99. I can't remember. So I like this one. And then this box, I really needed this one. Let me show y'all. I really needed this one. You found it. Let's see what kind of thing you picked. It's, it charts three of them at one time. Oh, you mm. didn't say you bought that. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. I don't remember that. Whatever. It's a charger, and you can charge three batteries at one time. Oh, and it come with two batteries. And it come with oh, two. Okay. So now I have four batteries. You would have had what? Five? Those the same kind? No. These aftermarket batteries. Yeah. But I'm saying the same, because you bought aftermarket batteries before, so those the same kind you bought the last time? No, this is a different company. Oh, okay. I wanted this because it tell you exactly how much it charged. Mm -hmm. Like, say if it's halfway, yeah. it tell you that. The only thing, I haven't done no research on these aftermarket batteries, but some the aftermarket batteries that I had before, they was good. They was good, but the only thing, they don't hold charge. Like, say if I charge this to 100%, and then I just leave it sitting there, it's like the charge get reduced. It's like the battery drain. But with the original batteries that I have in this camera right now, if you charge it to 100%, if you go check it three weeks from now, it's still going to be 100%. So that's the only gripe that I have with aftermarket batteries. But I love them because you got extra batteries just in case one of them go dead. So, But I don't even know if these do that. So I have to test them out and I'll let y'all know. But the brand that I got was that brand. You can't read it? Oscars. Oscars. We're going to test it out. See. What it be like. Did it come with a cord or you got to use um, a cord? Yeah, it come. You can use two different ones. You see? This, the oh, that's like what we got now. Yeah. That's good, yeah. I wonder if you charge both of them up at the same time, would it charge faster? Try that. Oh, I need, need the square piece. If these, that's how, if these are hundred percent, we'll know they hold the charge because. Because they already hundred percent. Yeah. I got you. Yep. Oh no. They did. So they don't have They probably don't. So that's another one. Then we have some more packages, right? Sure. When we was moving, they cut off the flaps on top of the box, so we can't even see who sent us this. We'll know by the brand. I, it, I, it was a letter, I think. Oh, we have um these cards. We have these cards. This is who sent it. I have pulled up the Instagram. I'm going to go on the Instagram right there. It says, from the bottom of my heart for purchasing this amazing product and helping me make my dreams come true. At Dreams and Faith, we strive to bring quality products and content to our loyal family, you. Remember, no matter how hard life gets, never give up, keep going, keep dreaming, and having faith, and have faith. Thanks, Dominique, you mean the world to us. So this is what you would get if you purchase from dreams and faith. Yeah, dreams and faith. And I really like this. I already took a glance at this, but I never put it inside of a video. So this is the video for it. And you can follow them at on Instagram or Facebook at dreams and faith right there. I like the little quote. Yeah. And I had went on the Instagram and I like different. I It was a few hats that I like. So. You act like I'm look, I'm just showing the people. She's trying to get the sizes. We just show y'all. 
We do it. <laughs> so, it's a little jumpsuit joggers. I really like this. Oh, look at the nice little patch. Yeah. Where your dreams come true, dreams and faith. Yeah, so I like these. And this is something that I would wear. So thank you very much for sending us this. This is our very first time ever receiving like merch merch from a company. We gotten um clothes before from our subscribers, but from a company. This is our very first time. We appreciate it and we thank you so much. Thank y'all. And I looked on y'all Instagram. If y'all watching this, I looked on y'all Instagram and it was a few hats that I seen that I do like that I wouldn't mind buying. Like when we start buying clothes, but right now we're not in the market to start buying no clothes right now. But when we do, I am going to come and spend some money with y'all because I like y'all stuff. Yeah. I ain't going to put this on because I'm already hot because it's hot down here. I should have did this video up there. But I really like this. Oh, I think y'all can see the bottoms. This is some nice quality mm -hmm. too. This don't feel like cheap or nothing. So if y'all in the market material. are looking because it's getting cold now or it is cold, jumpsuits, some nice jumpsuits, go check them out at Dreams and Faith. Dreams and Faith. I yeah. love it. Thank y'all. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, and now what we about to do? We're going to do the hashtag ads royalty fam. So we're going to go upstairs and then do that because it's hot down here. The very first question is, as a YouTuber, do you have to file taxes? The answer to that question is yes, you do have to file. Anytime you're getting income, you have to file taxes. So anytime you're receiving any type of income, file your taxes. You should be filing taxes. You should be filing taxes. The very next question is, if you could relocate the family out of Florida, where would you go and why? Where would you go? What I would go is Los Angeles. The reason why is because I think that will be better for our YouTube channel because you can do a lot of collaborations. It's a lot of people out there with the same goal in mind as me. I can be like, we can meet other like-minded people collab with other like-minded people trying to get to the same place that we trying to get to so i think it's like la and new york places like that is like i see a lot of people moving now to collaborate become successful in whatever they trying to do so you're there to work and work hard meet people and become successful that's so opportunities that's why i would move to la that's why i'll we're still thinking about it. I really don't have a place where I just want to move to. I just said I would like to move out of Florida. Well, okay. So my thought process was, okay, I want some. I want to experience something different, a different scenery, like just something different. Um, I don't want it to be like we in Timbuktu in the country with cows, mm -hmm. but I don't want it to like. I just don't want it to be home. Cause I just want the experience, but I think like my thought, pro like my thought is kind of like changing now. My, my idea is kind of changing now because Tampa is growing. You know, we, I want to be a part of that growth. I think my honey felt the same way because when I talk about it, like, yeah, you know, we're, we are going to be the next big city and I want to be a part of that growth. Like, but I do want something different. So it's like, I'm kind of. Very next question is take. Taking into consideration these three words, faith, focus, and finish. Tell me how these three words fit into your philosophy on life and success. Okay, um, you say faith. So faith. Faith, focus, and finish. Okay, so I feel as if faith, that's the first word. Um, I feel like we aren't, like we, without faith, we won't be able to it like the opportunities we have been given wouldn't have been awarded to us or what's called afforded to us awarded afforded. afforded to us yeah without faith without believing you know that's what opened like plenty doors for us as of today so 
we're grounded on faith. So basically without that, it wouldn't be us. It wouldn't be no us. We'll be here, but we won't be here. If you you understand that? And the situation. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, right, right. Okay, so that's how I feel about the faith part. What about you? I feel the same way. Faith. It's like, like what's you have to it have. leads us. Yeah. Like with like that's we're we we can not move without faith. So basically that's the conductor of the train. Right? Well God. Well no, I'm saying God us believing in God, us having faith in that basically God is like all this in faith. You don't agree? Mm. I feel but like I think faith is believing in God and having faith. I feel like you believe in God. That's the main thing. Having faith is like like, like all got, the stuff that like we believe that we will get and stuff. Well, I guess like, I t- I took faith as if a big umbrella that included yeah, everything you, right now. That's what like faith. When you hear that, that's what you're pretty much saying. When you hear that, what do you get okay. when you hear that? So. When you hear that, that's what you hear. It's not right or not. Well, no, I understand that, but I know it's a, like having faith is. It's a difference with that. I understand all you know all that, but it's just that I just from what she asked, I was just trying to put it on one umbrella. Then the next qu- on the one umbrella. So. It was faith and what? Faith, focus, and finish. Focus mean well for me. I would say focus is just you know knowing what you want and going for it. Like you may you're gonna have roadblocks, you're gonna have distractions, but just stay focused. Stay focused on the prize. Stay focused on the journey because your journey is gonna come may come through sometimes where it may go through the valley, but you gotta stay focused. You can't. Oh, Lord, just get your mind like, oh, my God, we're going through this turmoil that's going to distract you and your focus is going to be gone. So just stay like being focused is what continues to keep you motivated, what continues to keep you pushing through whatever. So folk, that's where I see focus. Yeah, what I see focus is you on one path, stay on that path. Like say what when I heard the word fo- focus, I'm thinking about. Like, my situation and stuff. Because when I'm on this one path, like, say, YouTube. And then it's like all this other stuff start coming in to say, hey, this look good. Hey, you can do this. You can do this. No. Don't just do every other thing that you can even do it. But if you want to complete something and achieve something, just stay on that one thing. And then once you get this successful... Then you can worry about all this other stuff. That's why I stopped um, uploading on who knows. Somebody asked that question a little while ago. I stopped uploading because I want to stay focused on a glimpse of royalty. Once this get big and then we get a whole bunch of subscribers, then I start worrying about other channels. So that's what I get when I hear focus and finish. Finish. Um... When I hear finish, I I I think I mean like finish strong, like give it your all to the end. Like and once you finish, don't stop there. Try to achieve more. That's what I that's how I feel. What about you? Finish. I just thought about when I said finish when it was time to answer finish, I just thought about Stay in focus until you finish. Once you're finished, then that's when you can start doing other stuff. But don't stop until you're finished. Like you you have that you have that, that faith to jump out into yeah. this new venture. And you believe that you're gonna achieve that. Right. And, and you then, you focus you, your focus is on this venture. You stay focused until you're finished. Only on that. Right. Until it's finished. And, and you're still having that faith. Throughout the journey while you're focusing to finish. Yeah. And then once you're finished, you have faith in something else. Then you focus on that thing until you finish. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, the next question is, will you be doing any DIY projects anytime soon whenever y'all gets moved and 
move in and settle. Being that we at my parents' house, if I don't even know if it depending on where we moved at because certain places require certain things like say when we moved into the apartment we needed a table okay i build a table i'm not just gonna go just sit and think about stuff and but, be like oh i want to build this if i need it at the time i'm like i don't want to pay all this money then i'll be like i build it but i'm not like a really diy person so if, i know something that like i still want the ladder in the living room so whenever we do move yeah, that's see, something that you're going to build but like yeah, see, like, if we need something, but I'm not the type this of person... Need, not a need is a want, so. Well, if we want something, we'll be like, okay, I'd rather build it than buy it, because it'd be some pieces, like, say, like, those lamps, me and my daddy, when we was in Ellerton, or wherever we was, it's lamps, one and $200 just for a little simple lamp. All this decorating stuff be expensive. That's why I'd be like, if I can, like, say we got money to blow like it's in our budget to say okay we can go and buy that okay but i think you enjoyed building it though i i i had to enjoy it because i was saying like so you still wouldn't build it like to you know how when we you went crabbing and we ate the food like it made you feel like ooh, like i when they hunted for this food then we ate the food that's different so it's not like ooh, i see my work in the house and this is just, I did that. Like, you don't get that feeling? Sometimes I be oh. like, I did that. But, like. <laughs> or like, say like, something need to be done. You be like, I can build that, you know. No. Nah, I only <laughs> think about building something if I'm like. Hmm? No. Oh, uh-uh. I only think about building something if I'm like, okay, this ain't in our budget to go buy. So you want to build because of money. Yeah, oh, okay. that's the only reason. If we just had a big budget, I don't. I'm not really that type to be like. But I think you enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed the really the only part I really enjoyed is the part the saving money in to be like I built that and I built it right and we can actually use it. It's actually functioning. I enjoyed that. But I'm not the type of person like say if we making. A hundred thousand dollars a month. I don't care to say, "Oh, I'm about to go build this because I'm gonna feel good." I'm not that type of person. I just built it because it ain't in that budget to go buy it. So that's the. I'm not that type of guy to be like prideful and be like, "Oh, I." Well, built it's not even being prideful. It's just being happy, like just that's seeing still- your work, like your your masterpiece, like ta da, you know. Okay, let's move if on to the If it's in the next. budget, next we question. buying it. I ain't building it. I'm going to read this one, but you ain't do it right. It was another one I read, too, that it wasn't right. At that very first question is you got to put hashtag ask royalty fam and then space and then you can ask your question. So if it's not lit up, I just be, I keep scrolling so if it went for me going a little slow, I you want to read. Solid. I want to read this because I only look for the blue. Oh, when okay. I see the blue, then I'll be like, okay, let me read this question. There's not nothing lit up on here. So this question is: Do do you and your wife have your own little store, or do you sell products slash items through Amazon? We don't have a store, but you do sell on Amazon. No, no eBay. eBay. I sell on eBay. So eBay. what we do is we don't have a store. We just go out and buy stuff, and then we just find space to sit that stuff into itself. So it's not like we got no space set out to say, okay, this is the eBay stuff or this is our store. It's we just find the space to store that until we sell it, and then that's how we do it. But we don't even do that anymore because we barely keep on. We. Ain't barely we don't coupon at all. I, I'm not gonna say that because I I haven't been out in a while. Well, I'm gonna say a while, but I would go out like it was a, some paper towels on sale. Like if we still lived in the apartment, we needed paper towels, so I would when I didn't did that deal. It's like stuff I need for the house, and I can save money. I will go out and do it. But we don't coupon. He don't. He don't. That's why we don't coupon. 
Okay, so this one is, I plan on moving to Florida. I I plan on moving with about $10,000. Both myself and my wife will have to get jobs. Do you think that's enough to start here? Yo, I had read this. I was waiting until we record this. I, what I was thinking about when I read that is, you got to go based on what's y'all budget. Say it's a person who only spend $100 a month. $10,000, that's more than enough. Say you're spending $10,000 a month, you got to go based off of your budget. You can't just go and ask us because our situation is and, different. And you got to think about it. Like, say we move to somewhere new. We know we got to find a place to stay. We got to do deposits on wherever we move at. We got to do deposits on. Well, I know if in, in Tampa, we got to do deposits on water. We got to do deposits on light, like mm -hmm. to, the light bill account. Like, you got to take all that into consideration. Like, yeah. Are you going to have furniture? Like, are you going to have to go buy a blow-up mattress? Or, yeah. like, you how are you going to eat? Furniture? Like, so it's just, yeah, you just, just gotta... go and do your budget. I know, like, say Dave Ramsey, we follow his teaching, not 100% to the T, because it's, like, a lot of stuff I agree with, and it's very little stuff that I disagree with, like, very little, like, little small stuff, but I f f follow majority of his stuff, but... Like he say, I follow this. You should have three to six months of your monthly expenses saved up. So I would, if I would at least have that saved up, just in case when you do get down here, or say you find a job down here before there you are even jobs, come. but it's like, yeah, are you gonna come already being hired? Yeah, that's are you another coming thing. Then looking, yeah. it just depends on what you're doing. I would suggest if you're gonna work a job try to get hired before you even make the move. Even with that, you still would want to have three to six months saved up because you never know what could happen. Something may happen at that job, you may have to find another one. So three to six months, at least will hold you over. And you know, if you're looking for a job, you should find a job before six yeah. months come up. So that's why you should save up three to six months. So that's our advice. We can't just say, yes, $10,000 yeah. is good. It's, Based off of your ink, I mean monthly expenses. So if you are trying to make that move, try to make your monthly expenses smaller. So and you some, can, you never know. Some people just jump out and step out on faith. Yeah, like because it's Taraji, a lot. Yeah, but she went to California with two hundred. What it was? I don't remember how much, but it's a lot. Like even Casey Nice that he a lot of people was telling him don't um buy his camera on a credit card or. A lot of people would say, oh, you crazy for buying your camera on your credit card with maxing out the limit. But look what it turned out to be. So you can't always, everything is not going to be the same way exactly every time. Yeah. Your name may be, oh, $10,000 is good enough. This person, probably not. This person may be good just moving with a dollar and they still have a whole big old expenses. You never know. Okay, the next question is, hi guys, my question is to your wife. She was ready for this because when I was scrolling up, she was reading this already. I already know she was. I should have um, skipped it. You could have. Hi guys, my question is to your wife and... Oh, I read, was reading too fast. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? Hi guys, my question is to your wife and it is Okay, hold on. It's I'm your husband. Too. It's a it's. I think she meant to say is yes. your husband yeah. as romantic as you would like him to be? I ask because you're always saying my honey and it is so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Huh? So yes, he is romantic. Could he be a little more? He sure can. <laughs> he doesn't have a nickname for me. So I don't call you honey? Nah. Oh. I don't call you honey? When? I never called you that. Now, I mean, so if you call me that one time, that's calling me. I called you that one time. Two times. Two times. How many times you call me honey? You saying I called Tell you that. Tell me how many times you call me honey. I called you that two times. I don't know how many times you call me that. But yes, he is. He is sweet. He is. He he is sweet. He may be hard on the outside, but he just so fluffy in the inside. 
is can you please explain in detail what is the new thing going on with YouTube? I'm deciding what I want my focus what I want my focus of my new YouTube channel to be. I'm nervous because I had never had a channel before. Any info is appreciated. Basically, just type in on YouTube cop new copper law. C O I believe P P A copper law and you'll find out more information but a brief summary of what i'm getting what i'm understanding is the federal government is coming in saying youtube was placing ads like targeted ads to kids 13 and under that's against the law they're not allowed to do that so what you the federal um the government is coming in telling youtube you have to start youtube has to start marking whether the video is for kids or adults so they can then verify to say we need to target ads to these people but not these kids so now you have to start marking this video is for kids or it's for is not for kids if you don't do that you'll get a forty two thousand dollar fine forty two plus thousand dollar fine if you don't mark whether your video you is or isn't for kids you don't want that so you got to do your research make sure you comply, read all the, it's a whole bunch of information. Even YouTube have this little web page that they tell you all about it, what you can and what you cannot do. So I suggest you read all that information. And that's pretty much like a brief summary of it. So, and if you, your video is for kids, you only can place one ad on the video. So it's a whole bunch of information. That's just a little brief summary on that. Oh, and you said any... Let me see. And you said you was nervous because you have never had a channel before. It's nothing to be nervous about. Even just start uploading videos. You don't even have to make it public. Just start uploading, get comfortable. Just get past that nervousness, get comfortable. And then once you feel like you're comfortable, then you can start making them public. So I hope that helped you out. Because I was nervous even... I was nervous a lot of times, but I still did it. The more you do it, the if go I go to my very first vlog, all the way back that we vlogged Dominique's birthday. S listen to how I was talking and listen to how I'm talking now. It's mm -hmm. totally different. I was nervous, but I did it. You just gotta do it. And the, he was like, like this is way out of his comfort zone. Like he was, he's never. He was never like the outgoing person, the talkative person. He was always, I wouldn't say he was shy, but he yeah. was like. I was just quiet. Yeah. If you didn't talk to me, I wasn't talking to you. And, and yeah. if you did talk to him, <laughs> yeah. he barely said anything. He yeah. just choked and laughed all the time. Yeah, so that's how I was. If I can do it, you can do it. Because I, I didn't talk. If don't you don't talk to me, I want to talk to you. I ain't open my mouth. So you could do it. Just keep doing it and you're going to get over that nervousness. The last question is, would you ever consider shaving all your facial hair? He has. I did that before. I, if, plenty of times. I just shave my head. So, I shave all this. Yeah, yeah but it always used to, every time it grew, I cut it all off. I didn't want it. And then I start liking, I like when I cut it down to like a one and have it like lined up and stuff. I like it when it's very low like that. Sometimes I like, well, I like it too when I just cut it down to a one. And I don't even have it lined up, but I like it even better when it's lined up. So, I cut it off, but I don't want to. That's no. why I'm not. So, what yeah. you want, like a... Yeah. Nah, I like the very low one. Like like, that. like a one. No, lower than this. It's like a little... Well, no, I know you like... I'm just saying, like, yeah. you just... Yeah. I, um... What made... I just grew it out a little bit one day. I haven't gotten a haircut in a long time. I think it was like around Davion's birthday. This man's birthday? No. No, when he had it at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, yeah, when I finally... I, I thought you went there after. Mm. You did get a haircut after that because you was like, you liked it at... Oh, you mean... I'm talking about my beard. She said, well, I shave off But I all thought you this. had got that. No, I ain't know. I used to just do it myself. I cut it all the way down low and just leave it at that. But I grew... I didn't get a haircut in a long time. And my beard was growing. So I just said, let me just get it 
lined up and see what I like it. And I liked it. So ever since then, I've just been having it. Sometimes I have it longer, but i rather it like like a one. A one or a two. So that's how i rather it. But if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And, and always remember, remember it. You, you are, are a king. king. You are a queen. You are a prince. And you are a little bitty princess. Bye. Peace. Peace.